Hey everybody, my name is David with Chorby and we uh, are coming out with a new series called Behind the Spreader where you talk to the technicians who walk behind the spreader and give you tips on how to best take care of your lawn and things to look out for so you can be more educated about the process of taking care of your lawn. So I hope you enjoy this first edition of Behind the Spreader. Let's take a look at our first tip here. So this right here looks like just some amazing beautiful green grass and it and it is but it's actually this is actually poana grass um it it is beautiful it is nice it's it's the problem with it is in texas is once it gets a little warm uh this will die out it's a cool season turf it does not like the heat and it will burn up so unfortunately while you might get some patches of it in your yard um, as you can see and just it's speckled all throughout the place it's not ideal because it takes over uh, uh, nutrients and water and uh, space from your bermuda grass which is the uh, the brown dormant grass we have here and then it dies off in the summertime and it leaves your yard thin and more susceptible to heat stress so the best way to deal with poana is getting a really good fall pre-emergent down uh, to prevent it from popping up. If you miss your full pre-emergent, then you're going to see this kind of scattered around the yard. And it's not always this this thick and nice. It Typically, what you usually end up with is more like this, where it's just really uneven, little speckles and patches of it everywhere and spotted, and it doesn't really look like a great turf. So, Poana fall pre-emergence is the best way to prevent it. And once again, my name is David. And this has been our first edition of Behind the Spreader. And hopefully you'll join us for future installments. We'll catch you on the next one.